Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam, uh, NetSuite Functional Consultant at BISP Solutions. Uh, in today's session, we will learn about the vendor prepayment. So first, uh, so let's start now. Uh, first, we will know what is vendor prepayment. Uh, so vendor prepayment records any advances or deposit amounts that is paid to a vendor before they accept a purchase order for goods and services. Uh, in simple words, we can say that a prepayment is an amount uh, which is paid to a vendor or any supplier of goods and services. It enables us to track and record the multiple prepayments and prepayments application for a vendor and then uh, its further application onto the uh, vendor bill. Uh, let's uh, take an example over here. Like uh, if we need to request uh, uh, goods and services for uh, $50,000 and our vendor uh, uh, and our vendor requests initial deposit of $15,000. So at that time, uh, in, that, in that case, uh, we have to enter a vendor prepayment uh, process. Uh, we can say that uh, we will start the vendor prepayment process in that way. So. Uh, there are two ways of entering a vendor prepayment if we talk about the next week. So the first way is uh, it can be vendor prepayment can be associated with an existing purchase order or uh, if we do not uh, want to associate it with any purchase order so we can uh, create or in enter an individual vendor prepayment. I mean it has not been associated with any of the purchase order. So for having the vendor prepayment, uh, first uh, thing we have to make a setup for it. Like uh, under the setup, uh, we have to enable the accounts payable features, then the vendor prepayment features uh, should be enabled. After that, for having the vendor prepayment account, a default prepayment account is required to be set up or required to be configured, uh, which is uh, another uh, current asset account that we will be covering in the, you know, Few, uh, few minutes after that uh, we know that the vendor uh, uh, prepayment is initiated uh, is you know the request has been made by the vendor who is the supplier of our goods and services uh, so he initiates a request for prepayment after that we have to the buyer uh, for whom the uh, prepayment is being is being requested so the buyer and uh, have to enter the vendor prepayment and then the required prepayment uh, setup is being done and when the prepayment has been entered it is ready for billing that can be applied to any of the bills that is outstanding to the vendor so this is uh, how the vendor prepayment uh, you know model works in the netsuite application So this is my NetSuite application uh, uh, where we can have uh, the first thing for the for setting up the vendor prepayment uh, for uh, setting up uh, we will be going under the setup company enable features. So here we can see that it has taken us to the enable feature page. So as we have to enable the feature of vendor prepayment under the advanced features, if we go down, we are having this vendor prepayment features uh, for making, uh, if this uh, box is checked already, so we will click on save uh, for, you know, having a setup of it. The other uh, thing uh, after enabling the feature of it, uh, we have to set or we have to configure a separate account for initiating the vendor prepayment. Uh, which is, you know, uh, which is usually taken up by the NetSuite as the uh, uh, other current asset type account. For that, we will be going under the setup over to the accounting and the manage GL. We are having the chart of accounts. So here we can see that uh, I have already created a vendor prepayment account over here. The ID, uh, the number is here. We can see that it is falling under the other current asset type. So it has already been created by me. So we do not have to do it again. The next thing after setting up the account for vendor prepayment, uh, uh, we have to, you know, enable the permission uh, fund for, uh, you know, 
it is to be noted that uh, the for the vendor prepayment uh, uh, the vendor prepayment account can be configured at the company level or at the subsidiary level and uh, for which and, uh, and from which you know the company the accounts that are set uh, at the subsidiary level are more preferred than the accounts that are set at the um, company level so for that uh, we have to you know uh, select any subsidiary for which uh, we want to associate this vendor prepayment uh, so for that we will be going under the setup company under the classification sub tab we are having this subsidiary see that the america subsidiary is here in order to set a preference for this uh, subsidiary uh, we will go under the preference sub tab So here we can see that the account that we have uh, created under our chart of accounts, uh, which is a uh, 108 vendor prepayment, is already been here. We do not have to mention it, so it is already selected. And after checking it, we will click on save. Preferences. Uh, we have to you know select the accounting preferences. For that, we will be going under the setup accounting. Under the accounting preferences. So here we can see this. Uh, it has taken us to the accounting preference page. Uh, under the general sub tab, if we go down, usually it is the accounts payable clerk, clerk who is having the permission to make you know this. Uh, he is having the uh, rule or permission to make the vendor prepayment. So here we are having this option vendor prepayment account. You can see that uh, the account that I have created one zero eight for vendor prepayment is already here. So we do not have to, you know, mention it over here. The other thing is we are on the accounting preference uh, window. The other thing is uh, option we are having auto apply vendor prepayment. If we check this box, so uh, when the whole uh, process of vendor prepayment is done, uh, and if we want to apply these uh, vendor prepayment to any of the bills that are outstanding with the vendor, so at that time NetSuite will automatically apply those vendor prepayments with the vendor's bill. So if we check this box, uh, it will be automatically done. And if we don't uh, check this box, we have to manually apply those uh, prepayments with the vendor bills if we want to. And uh, after checking this box, uh, we will click on save. And those changes will be saved. So this is all about the setup. Uh, we have enabled the features. We have created the account uh, for it. Uh, we have associated, uh, we have configured a subsidiary account for that and uh, our, you know, basic concern is now started. So for entering the vendor prepayment, as we have discussed that there are two ways around. First is uh, we can associate with the purchase order. So for that, we will be going under the transaction over to the purchases and uh, enter purchase order and list. So we can see a purchase order window is here. For vendor prepayment, we have to take any purchase order which is pending for billing. Like I am taking here this micro shop. So for entering the vendor prepayment, uh, we will click on this tab. Enter vendor prepayment. And you can see that it has taken us to the vendor prepayment over here. We, as it is uh, an already, uh, it is already created a purchase order. So we do not have to mention the name uh, for the pay. Purchase order number is here. Uh, the account that will be affected with this, we can take any account over here. The balance for this particular uh, vendor is here. The payment amount is here. We can, if we want to change the payment, uh, we can change it. Like uh, I am taking here $2,000. Uh, you can see the currency is here, exchange rate, date, posting period is here. If we want to uh, get this vendor prepayment to be printed or into the voucher, we, we have to, you know, check this box. If we want uh, memo, if we want memorization, any memo is required to be given, department, class, location, these are all the additional information uh, we can provide it and uh, after that we will click on save now we can see that we uh, got the confirmation that our vendor prepayment has been successfully entered so this is the first way uh, that uh, in which uh, we have uh, 
associate uh, this uh, prepayment with a purchase order for uh, uh, for creating an individual vendor prepayment we have to go into the transaction under the payables and here we are having this enter vendor prepayment option so it will take us to this page since it is uh, an individual vendor prepayment so we have to mention the name of the payee over here like I am taking here this Davidson leasing. Uh, as we are not associating it with any purchase order, so we do not have to mention the or PO number here. The account that will be affected uh, with this vendor prepayment, we have to mention it. We can see the available balance with this uh, particular payee is this. We have to mention the amount like I am taking here. Five thousand dollars. We can change it. I am taking here two thousand dollars. The information that uh, will be same like currency, exchange rate, date, posting period, memo, subsidiary, and all. And after doing this, we will click on save. So here we got the confirmation that uh, our vendor prepayment uh, has been successfully saved. So uh, now we can see that uh, we are having this apply option. So under the vendor prepayment, uh, we can associate, you know, after entering a vendor prepayment, we can immediately apply the prepayment amount to any bills or we can apply it at later point of time if we want to. And uh, apart from that, we can also associate mul multiple vendor prepayment transaction to the same purchase order. So this is how we can apply uh, the any vendor prepayment with the uh, bills, either immediately or we can uh, do it uh, later on. So in order to have a look of uh, uh, th these vendor prepayment, we will be going under the transaction, under the payables, enter vendor prepayment and list. So here we can see that uh, the two uh, vendor prepayments that we have created for Microshop and Davidson leasing is here. These are the vendors for, for whom we have uh, created these vendor prepayments. You can see the amounts are here, the currency is here, transaction number is here. So these are the two uh, vendor prepayments that we have uh, entered just now. Uh, one is associated with the existing purchase order and the other is individually created. So this is how uh, we can create, we can enter a vendor prepayment uh, uh, from enabling the features and all uh, towards the uh, applying of uh, these vendor prepayments to any bill. So this is all from my side. In case of any questions and queries, uh, you can write to us at www.bihpsolutions.com. Thank you.